one of the things that the advisor helped us to do was to provide um, a, a good written report um, and, and actually to set out some visions and goals for the business and actually then provide them in a report format that we could then um, you know, look at at our leisure, if you like, and, and discuss. Um, so we, we managed to set some short and medium and long-term goals um, and some succession planning things, which are vitally important, not just for our business, but I think for many other businesses as well. Um, in terms of um, the advice also gave us uh, opportunities to look at some of the things that um, perhaps we're not so strong on. So um, we did a SWOT analysis, for example, looked at some of the weaknesses and the threats of the business. So some of that might include, for example, looking at um, you know, how, might, how might I better manage the farm, for example, and some of the things that, that were important to that. Um, I'll have a look at some of the courses that might be available to help to, to build up my professional development, if you like. We looked at what resources there are, we've done a SWOT analysis, and then from there we also uh, split each of the enterprises and then analysed these and reviewed them and then come up with an action plan. In the action plan we have um, short term, medium term and long term goals. Some of the short term issues were things like we had to look at like grain, store, uh, grain storage which needed to replace. We've got a machinery policy um, needing reviewed and there were some issues like the biomass boilers needing replaced. So they were, you know, they were short term. Medium term we're looking at building res res resilience into the business and preparing for Brexit etc and putting the, the, the business in a place, um, in a better place uh, going forward. Longer term, we're looking at things like improving soil structure and again succession and um, putting things in place to make sure that um, there are the staff and the management team are here that are required to run the business. It's given us a bit of a programme to work to um, from, from a, a progression point of view. For me though, one of the most important things is, is a realisation that soil fertility is, 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 is of the utmost importance to the sustainability and, and uh, reliability of the farm practices that we're carrying out. Um, and certainly we focus really hard on, on soils and soil management um, through the community group and through the Monitor Farm project, but basically to try and make ourselves more sustainable and robust. We've got a lot of challenges coming up and we've got them now but we're getting more and more thrown at us. And obviously, um, dare I mention Brexit coming up, you know, we don't know how that's gonna pan out. Um, so what we're trying to do is to make ourselves more robust uh, and enable to sort of um, weather the, the challenges that are coming. Some of the specific tasks we've looked at is um, succession planning and making sure that the, we've got a succession plan in place which incorporates and integrates things like machinery policy. So we've got an outlook for the whole farm going forward and also sustaining cropping uh, practices to make sure we're looking after the soils and making the, the farm sustainable and resilient for the future. In terms of recommending the support, I think it's, 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 it's a huge benefit to have somebody to sense check what you're doing, 